Hello, 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 welcome back to the channel. So let's continue our previous discussion on separable differential equations and let's solve this differential equation over here. So in this differential equation, you're not given an initial conditions. So we'll add the concept of integration at the last, but this separable differential equation is more focused on applying the constraints to your solution of your differential equation. So now you know that you can easily separate the similar variables on one side. So dy by dx is equal to y square. If I move the y square over here and dx to the other side, we can separate these similar variables on one side. So it will basically be dy upon y square equals dx. But now you notice that your y square is in the denominator and this expression, this expression over here, the left hand side is not defined for y equals zero, right? So that is why when we are moving on to the step two, we have to ensure that we add a constraint which says that your y is never equal to zero. And you'll always have to add these type of constraints every time you'll see discontinuities in your expressions on the left hand side or on the right hand side. And now after applying the constraint to your differential equation, we can move forward to integrate both sides. So if we integrate both sides, the left hand side is basically y to the power minus two dy equals integral dx. And then if we solve these integrals, these are very easy integrals, right? So this integral would be y to the power minus one upon minus one. And this would be basically x plus the constant of integration. And now if we simplify this equation, it will basically be minus one over y equals x plus c in this case. So it will basically be y equals minus one over x plus c. So this is your function. This is your function y in terms of x. And this will be your solution to your differential equation. If we would have been given an initial condition, we would have just substituted the value of that initial condition in this function expression to get the value of capital C. But the main takeaway from this video was applying the constraints to make sure that your function expressions, your left hand side and the right hand side are always defined. And you can also add it at the end that the answer to this the separable differential equation is this expression where your y is never equal to zero. So your y of x is never equal to zero. So that's it for this video. Feel free to comment down in this video if you have any doubts. Follow the channel in order to get notified about the other videos that I'll be uploading. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Take care.